गाइस वेलकम टू सी आर एंड टी डिजाइनर्स चेतन यार दिस इज द हार्ड सरफेस टोपोलॉजी पार्ट सो बिफोर मूविंग टू वर्ड ट्यूटोरियल इफ यू डिडेंट सब्सक्राइब टू यूट्यूब चैनल देन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब इट एंड नाउ लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो एड अ सिलेंडर एंड मेक श्योर वर्टेक्स शुड बी सिक्सटी एंड देन स्नैप इट टू द थ्री डी कर्सर ओके यू कैन सी देन गो टू दैट इट मोर and select these faces and then insert these faces like this and then delete them after that just select these faces and delete them just we want a 2d plane in our shape and then delete these faces and delete these faces then select this edge and you need to extrude this edge like this then select this edge and do the same step extrude this edge like this so we got this curved face here and then shift d to duplicate and then just take it little bit here and then rotate it so you can get the curve shape in this corner also just drag this edge like this for better curve shape and then you need to merge the words select the words and merge at the center like this and now you can see we are getting the proper shape for our model then select this edge and then extrude it and scale this edge along the x axis like this so you will get the straight edge then one more time extrude it and then move this words little bit down along the y axis then one more time extrude it like this then select this edge and then just extrude this edge like this and then scale it along the x axis you will get the straight edge now we will add little bit design on it so just add loop cuts one loop cut here and one loop cut here before that just try to maintain the curve here like this just try to maintain the proper curve we will add the subdivision surface modifier so don't worry about the shading then add support loop cuts hold control for the snapping then select everything and extrude it like this so you will get something like this then add one loop cut at the center and two loop cuts here then just drag this loop cut and now we will create little bit of design on this model try to maintain the curve square and then insert these faces try to maintain the square shape here select the word and scale it down like this and then just select the edge and add bevel on this center edge okay like this then you need to select this edges you can use the x remover for that Just select these faces or edges, and then move these edges. Use Control, Hold, Shift, and uh, press and hold the Control for the snapping, and then move these edges. You can use the Normal option there to move them along the normal, which is more convenient and easy. Okay, then select these faces and insert these faces. and then you can extrude these faces like this extrude inside then one more time insert the faces and then add supporting loop cuts to maintain the proper shape and shading of the object then we will add little bit design here also simple design insert and extrude inside these faces 
then add a supporty loop cuts just to tight these edges and you can insert one more time it and now it's look pretty good decent then add supporty loop cuts here just need to add supporty loop cuts here and there because we are modeling for the production work so that's why it is necessary should be high poly because we follow the realism so that that's why I just add a supportive loop cuts So after adding the supporty loop cuts, we need to add then add one more loop cut here and scale it along the x axis and make it straight. Then select these words and merge at the center and then dissolve these edges like this. Add one more loop cut here and same process merge the words at the center and then dissolve the edges. And now this topology is fine. And we have solved the shading problems. And you can see it's look pretty well. If you want more design then you can add more cylinders and nuts and bolts to make it looking more good. And now it's look good decent. If you want more design then definitely go for it. Just add one more cylinder, two cylinders and few nut and bolts. Just here maintain the better shading, better shape and now it's ready. And it's look good. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe my youtube channel. Bye bye. See you in the next video. Take care.